top 40s. Can you feel the beat to you? Dance. Latin. Country. Pop. Rock and roll. All at once at 91.1 FM, The Boss. I'm Bruce Tuff, principal of the Tuff Law Firm. We are a full service law firm serving the greater Woodlands area and the greater Houston area. Contact us at 281-681-0808. We're tough for you. Welcome to The Legal Fix, a new age radio show brought to you by The Tough Law Firm. We're the toughest law firm in town, with the toughest lawyers around answering your toughest legal questions. Thank you, Bruce Buffer. <laughs> yes, I am the big deal, Bruce Tuff. And uh, hey, guys, man, how you doing? All right, Excellent. All right. hey, we're on the cusp of Christmas, so I'm going to wish you all an early Merry Christmas. I got my Santa hat Merry on. Merry Christmas Eve. Let me, let me fix that a little bit. The right presents here. are underneath the tree. Yeah. Does that represent cool. coal? Yeah. Look at this. Is, <laughs> no, it's a special dark. The look, dark say, Santa. Yeah, the dark Santa, but it Krampus. matches my headphones. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to. Okay. Krampus Vada and Johan. Carol. He's a Christmas villain. Krampus hey, and Carol. Yeah. Hey, who's this guy next to me? Is I, that like I a think young, it's, his, it's a baby boy wonder. Yeah, he yeah, puts yeah. the boy in wonder. Be beardless wonder. Beardless wonder. What yeah. happened to you? What did you do? That's the question to What is that? Yeah. What so had happened was. I did all this work with my little buzzer, and yeah. then I ran the dial the wrong direction and put it at one, and yeah. I just missed. It just nicked the whole thing. Yeah. It was well, just gone. That was you, the end of it. You know yeah. who does? So you, I was looking at myself in the mirror this morning because I think I'm, I look ugly this way to me. Oh, my and God. And I was looking at myself in the mirror, like, trying no to comment. psych myself up. And my wife walked in and said, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that you look in the mirror more than Vince Santini does. You oh. do. Yes, you do. Yes, <laughs> I, let, yeah. I was like, I'm you're, out. I'm done. You're out. I'm done. You're out. You're out. So... Yeah, you're, you're. I mean, you're different. I have to keep looking at you from the side. I'm just going, who is this I didn't this know guy? who he was, dude. So yeah, I pulled the fire alarm my, when I first saw uh, You flattened the top of the my, mullet and you act. It does you accentuate yeah, it the looks, mullet. Yeah. It looks much bigger. Right. It makes the Jerry yeah. curlier. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my gosh. Smart <laughs> team. Hey, I love the your hat. The juices are dripping. G.I. Right. Jerome, I love your hat. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. That's real good. All right. Well, suit looks really well Merry strong. Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Jerome. Merry Christmas. Yeah, you got a Christmas tie on. Yeah, thank you. Merry Christmas to all of our listeners yeah, out there. Happy, Merry Christmas yeah, Eve. Happy. And I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to Lake Tahoe, so I'll be going. Uh, I'll, be, but I'll be on the show New Year's Eve. I'll call in from the airport or from the ski <clears> slope or something sweet. like that. Okay? Nice. Is that in gonna, California or that Nevada? Is, it's half California half nevada Both. you can okay, ski cool. in the state of california and ski in the state of nevada state to state it's very cool yeah excellent well guess who we have we have our very very special guest uh bill colby who is here he's a 97 year old Kobe. young world war ii veteran and i had to i had to twist his arm to get him on the show <laughs> he, he, he wanted true. he wanted to know all about the show and what we're doing and and so uh, he is gracious enough to show up on the show, and um, just a little bit that I know about Bill Colby, but I'm going to have uh, him talk about him. A um, friend of my dad's, Colson Tuff, they met at Rotary. They were actually sitting at a table talking to each other, and uh, he said, hey, you know what you're doing? Oh, yeah, I'm Bill. Oh, hi, I'm Colson. Uh, where do you where do you live? Well, I, I I live here in the Woodlands. I live on a golf course. Well, I live on a golf course too. Oh, good, good. You play golf? Yeah, I used to play golf. I play golf too. And so, where'd you go to school? Oh, I went to school in Michigan. Michigan? Where in Michigan? University of Michigan. What? I went to the University of Michigan. This wow. is my dad and Bill Colby right. talking to each other. And he goes, "So, what did you do before that? Oh, I fought in a war. <laughs> like no. like what war? World War II." You did. When did you do it? Oh, you did that too. Oh, and you know had a lot of commonalities. A wholesome you know? Me Too movement. Yeah, the two just met each other and 
Ha and then they were became great friends. And uh, Bill actually saw my dad uh, uh, yesterday morning, right, Bill? You yeah, I did. Visiting Colson. I did. And, and he looks good. He looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he remembered who you were. Yes, so that's he did. Good. Sometimes he didn't remember me. Yeah. <laughs> he told me he, <laughs> he remember remembered me. He does. Yeah. Well, he he would never forget yeah. you. Right. Um, so, Bill. He's uh, a great guy. Oh, we had a lot you. of good times together. Yes, sir. Awesome. I, I love sitting with the two of you at Rotary mm -hmm. because right. if you anyone didn't speak up into the microphone, you let them all know, right? Right. right. Yeah. Can't hear you. You yeah, got to speak up. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, no. All I right. was. You would. Colson would say that to the oh. people. Yes. You know, uh, if Judy Larson or, you know, it would just be oh. funny. Yeah. Judy yeah. Olson and. And uh, you know, Julie Martineau and, and whoever the speaker was the at, uh, at the yeah right, at the right. Rotary and and Colson would say speak up I can't hear you exactly yeah. Yeah. Right, do you ever right. Nolan Ryan him in the head with a napkin no no, no never don't, do that do you don't do yeah. that at Rotary no. I thought you threw napkins no we don't okay. no uh -uh. but Colson and I went on trips we went on cruises and we went on bus trips we had a good time together. You yeah. you are also a General Motors executive, mm -hmm. and you have thirteen to twenty patents in your no, I have thirteen. Thirteen I have patents. 13. Whoa, and then and then I try to keep the statistics that Bill yeah. Colby has. He's this guy is fascinating. So mm -hmm. here's another one: bombing missions over Japan. Nine or eleven? Eight. No, eight. I had eight. eight. I was I was. Uh, Scheduled for 11, but unfortunately, planes crash at the end of the runway and that sort of thing, and you can't take off, and so we were canceled. But I had, I've completed eight missions. And I thought one, the engine failed, or you were oh, shot yeah. down on one, and, right. and you had a crash land. Right. So, oh, you don't count those. Okay. Uh, oh, my God. Right. So, we had to land at Iwo Jima. Oh, my God. Right. So how old wow. were you when you were a, I, a I, navigator I, in I was, World War II? Oh, well, I went in at 19, and I was 21 when I was uh, uh, in, a navigator and radar bombardier. I was on, the, uh, on a B-29. And the B-29 was the first plane that was pressurized and also the first plane with uh, radar. And I was the ra radar bombardier and navigator. And most of our missions were in night missions. They weren't day missions. They were night missions because of the radar. Mm -hmm. And we would, uh, I was stationed in Tinian, which is in the Marianas. It was just north of Guam. And uh, we would... Uh, we would take off, and uh, a complete mission took about 14 to 15 hours and to get up to Japan. It was all over water. And uh, once we made landfall, then I, I would usually sleep until we got up there. And, and then when we made landfall, uh, they'd wake me up, and, and I'd find out where to start with the radar scope and find out where we were. And then from uh, once you find landfall, then... We would go over to what we call the initial point, and and start our bomb run. That's what we would start our bomb run. And so I would communicate with the bombardier, and uh, once we met the, uh, we got to the initial point, and when we were on our bomb run, I would tell him where we were and how. Or I would not tell him. I would tell the bomb site, because the bomb everything went into the Norton bomb site. And the Norton bomb site opened the doors and and dropped the bombs at the right time. So as we approached the target, I would tell him how far we were from the target, and the plane was on automatic pilot completely. All every the whole plane was controlled by the Norton bomb site. And where and was that at? That, that's at the bombardier, and that's right in the front of the plane, okay. the nose of the plane, and it's. Uh, uh, the the pilot co-pilot and are are side by side and the bombardier is in the center at a, at a little lower level. Is, and, it, is and, that early computer? It's a computer. Right? Oh yes, an early it is. computer that it's, was used to right. calculate where the bomb site drop right. would be and the time and everything right. else. Right. But you entered all the calculations to set that up. Right. That, well, I told I told him where we were so he could enter it. The bombardier then could enter it into his bomb site. And the bomb site then determined what when to drop the bombs in order to hit the target, and uh, and and that was pretty much it. Uh, we we uh, carried uh, 20,000 pounds of incendiary bombs. Each squadron was made up of 13 planes, and uh, 12 of them would carry incendiary bombs, and one would carry demolition bombs to scatter the scatter the fire. Now these. Uh, 
incendiary bombs had a little propeller on the front end, and they were set to go to open. The bomb would open uh, uh, about 100 feet above, above uh, the land, and then these little incendiary bombs would come out and scatter throughout. And, and of course, J uh, the Japanese uh, construction, most all of their buildings were uh, inflammable, and so uh, they, would, they would start to burn, and then, they, and then the demolition uh, bomb plane would come over and, and scatter the fire even more. And uh, and so then we would uh, we would after our bomb run we just we just had to start heading home, and uh, and of course the Akak fire was immense over target, and we were we lost one year one time we lost one engine, and uh, it's a four engine pump B twenty nine is a four engine plane, and it uh, you can still fly with two engines but barely, but we. Uh, uh, we headed home with this one, just uh, three engines, and another plane uh, uh, in the group of, uh, went beside us, and uh, we got to Iwo Jima, which was about halfway between Tinian and Japan, and and we had to wait to land because there were so many planes coming in to land that had been shot up by by uh, air, the uh, Akak fire, fire, and uh, so we. We land. We finally did land, and uh, and then just left the plane there and came back to Kenyan on another plane. Hey, Bill. When That's now, where did you get? Um, were uh, did they train you beforehand, or did you go to school? Oh. I know you went to the University of Michigan. So did you? Oh. Were you already trained as a engineer navigator before oh. you went to in in uh, enlisted in the Army Air Corps? No, I was not, Bruce. I was I was just a a kid, and I <clears throat> was 19, and I started at the University of Michigan, and and uh, I actually I graduated in high school, and then in September I I graduated in January, and in September I, uh, I I I went to the University of Michigan, and then the uh, the war effort started. Everybody was was uh, either I was going to be drafted or I needed to volunteer, and so I. Uh, in October of that, of, let's see, it was uh, 43, I, uh, and, uh, no, 42, October of 42, and I enlisted as a cadet because my preacher brother-in-law looked so good in his uniform, and, and I, didn't want to, I didn't want to climb around in the mud, and so I thought that was the place for me. And so I then, in February of the next year, which was 43, I was called up. And went down to um, Miami Beach for basic training, and then uh, and then I went to a uh, gunnery school. They taught me how to be a gunner, air aircraft gunner, in Tyndall Field, Florida. And then uh, and then uh, the all the schools for bombardiers, pilots, and navigators were filled. So they put me in a, a, a college, Western Kentucky State Teachers College, that I had just to wait until I was classified and then uh, go, go to one of the schools. And so I, uh, and while there, they gave me 10 hours of, of flight training in a, in a little Cessna. And uh, because I couldn't line up the two sticks, in other words, my depth perception was poor, I, I could not be a pilot. So they classified me as a navigator. And I went to Salmon Field, uh, 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 Louisiana Navigation School and learn air navigation, and uh, I, and that was about uh, oh I don't know three or four months, and uh, and then when I gra uh, graduated from that and got my commission as a second lieutenant, uh, they kept me there to to uh, be an, uh, <clears throat> to teach the next class, and so uh, I I took another three or four months and with the next class. And then they, and then they sent me to uh, radar school because I, I probably would have gone over to Europe instead of J over to Japan if I had had not been a teacher for for the semester. And anyway, they taught me. They sent me to uh, Victorville, California, uh, to be a, uh, a radar bombardier and navigator. 
and so I went to school there. And at that time, we, it was it was a lot of fun because we uh, were able to go down through San Bernardino and down into Los Angeles, and we met many many people and. Uh, it, it was, in, and we just had a lot of fun. I think that, that translates time. to many, many girls, yeah, not many, did. many people. We did. That was just kind of a polite way of, <laughs> a lot of people. San Bernardino, California, <laughs> we did. Uh, you know, an air jockey. Mm. Uh, I know that all the navigators are trained mm. as pilots as mm. well, so you could fly a plane mm. if you had to. I know that. Yeah. Well, so, I I would be scared to do it, but I could, you know, I, I think I could probably, whether you, I could land it or not, I don't know, but I could fly it while it was in the air. But, uh, but anyway, then uh, after I finished uh, the, the um, um, radar school, I went to Tucson, Arizona, and got my crew. And uh, there were 11 of us in the crew. There's a bombardier and, and a pilot and co-pilot and a radar op a radio operator and a navigator in the front of the plane. And then in the back of the plane are the, uh, is the uh, top, top gunner and the, and the two side gunners and, I, and, the, and the radar bombardier. And then we had a tail gunner. So there were 11, 11 of us. Oh, that's, the is that the same crew you stayed with the I, whole time? That, I did. That you flew I did. the nine mi or 11 missions uh, over Japan? Yeah, okay. so. yeah. Yeah. Wow. That was, that was it. That was yeah. the same crew. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and that it, that was that was exciting because uh, taking off from uh, Tinian, we had a hundred. The plane, as I recall, total was one hundred and thirty-seven thousand pounds, and we had twenty thousand pounds of bombs. And I don't know what the weight of the fuel was, but anyway, we had we would go down this runway, and the the, the islands were cliffs. They were they were had cliffs at the ends of the runways. And so we would uh, uh, go wide open throttle, of course, with all four engines, race down the runway, and and then uh, at the end of the runway was a little little uh, mound. And as heavy as we were, once the plane started to bounce, the wheels started to bounce. You pulled up the wheels and 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 went over the cliff, and then dropped down on the water to gain airspeed so that you could climb. Did anybody so not make it off that cliff? Oh sure. Oh, oh God. sure. <laughs> oh yeah. We yeah. well, that was the three missions that I, we didn't go on. One of two of them, as I recall, where uh, planes crashed at the end of the runway. We uh, one time we we were uh, racing down. The, well, we were one of them was racing down the runway, and um, about halfway down the runway, my the. Uh, Pilot yells to the co-pilot, cut the and the engineer. I forgot about the engineer. He was there too. And anyway, he, they said cut the engines, and they cut the engines. And of course, we didn't have reverse props in those times. They were just forward props. And the and the plane just and they put on the brakes. And I had my pilot was a small guy, and my co-pilot was a big guy. And they just leaned on the brakes, and uh, we went right down almost to the end of the runway. And before we stopped, and when we got out, everything, the wheels were all flat, and uh, there were aluminum wheels. The rubber rubber was gone, and and uh, it was uh, it was an exciting experience. That's a long uh, walk back to the hangar. Yeah, yeah. long walk. <laughs> now that now you said that was an exciting experience. Mm -hmm. Was every bombing mission the same? Where you caught the flak, and you knew that once you made the drop the bombs, you had to get mm -hmm. back, but you could have been shot out of the mm -hmm. air, and it was like. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, in white it, knuckle it, experience. Yeah, we had. Yes, there was there was flak on every mission, uh, and uh, the day missions were a little more exciting than the than the uh, night missions because you went over individually at night, but you went over in formation during the day, and and uh, uh, we did we did uh, get some flak and on uh, one of the day missions, and we. As I remember, we also lost an engine there, but uh, but we were always kept with other planes, kept with us on the way back, so we didn't we didn't have is, problems. Is, what does flak mean? Is that getting shot at? That, that, that's that's, that's the, ak ak. It's ak ak. It's re, it's little pieces of of metal that are shot up in in a in a uh, a, 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 a large bullet, and then the bullets. Uh, Explodes and these little pieces of 
Oh, shrapnel come out. Try it's to rip up the job. engines and the so that's wings. enemy firing. Yes, yeah. enemy, right. It's, it's right. Right. Yeah, so, um, Bill, I'm going to take a break just mm-hmm. for – we're going to take three segments. We were, we were going to do our 30-minute show, but we're going to do an hour show. I can tell you're just mm-hmm. – uh, you're fascinating. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we'll take a – we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back. We're going to also put you on the hot seat, but I want to hear a little bit about your career at General Motors as well and a few of the things you did there but was there a time did you was there a maximum amount of yeah and he's these patents was there a maximum amount of missions that you could fly that that they said okay that's enough you're Mm -hmm. out or do you i think it was 35. okay i think it was how come you only served what you went went, what the heck you're a slacker well right we are we are we were it's got eight more than us combined i know i (laughs) we went we were a replacement crew we went in near the end of the war see we went in in june Okay. And in July, and then it ended in August, and and we went in at the end of the. So we replaced another crew that left in forty five. Okay. You were you were in at 19, You were in at nineteen, and you got out at twenty one. So you yeah. your whole service oh was goodness. was uh was what five years? Four years? Yeah, it's three and a half. Three years. and a half years. Three and a half okay. years. I served. Right. I was anxious to get out. Yeah. I, I wanted to go on with my life. I heard that there was another very exciting part of your life is when you completed your missions, they sent you back on a troop ship, but it really (laughs) wasn't a troop ship. It was a medical ship full of nurses. Right, right. That's what it was. (laughs) Was 300 300 nurses and 100 officers. Oh, my God. All the way from Hawaii to... To um, San Francisco. Oh, and that was a, was that, that a slow? Did you have to tell them to slow the boat down on the way? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was pretty slow. <laughs> it was good. Well, what can you share about that story with us? <laughs> well, well, that was that was right at the end uh, end of the war. I I didn't have enough points because we were a replacement crew to come home, so I had to stay on Tinian for about six months, and and then I and then they evacuated the. Uh, natives from the island you see the island of tinian in the beginning uh, uh before the war was a they raised sugar cane for alcohol for the japanese and uh, and so um they uh we processed all of the natives to move go to okinawa and places like that and they sent us over to the philippines to uh oh golly i can't remember the name of the field over there near manila uh-huh. But but anyway, they sent us over to the Philippines, and that was by uh, troop ship. That was awful. It was uh, uh, one of these old converted freighters, and uh, I don't know how many decks there were, but uh, but you, we just slept in a hammock, and the and the person above you was right right up in, in his hammock, right next to you, and uh, it was hot as could be, and uh, quite a few people got sick. I was fortunate I didn't. And uh, then we get to uh, Manila Bay, and we come into Manila Bay in this troop ship, and here are these uh, native boys in their in their little canoes, and they're dying diving for coins. You know, you throw fifty cents over or whatever, and and they would dive down and and get this coin and then put it in their mouth and hold it in their mouth, and 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 um, and they were after, of course, cigarettes was one of the things that they were really really uh, precious and uh, then when we got off uh, off the boat uh, uh, the boys were th- there and uh, pom pom my sister uh, two two pesos you know yeah. that sort oh, of my. thing yeah. that sort of thing mm. oh yeah and, mm. and uh, um, I don't know if I should have said that or not. No, that's you okay. Can no, you everything's want. good with us. You can say anything you want yeah. on this show. A lot of it's color true. commentary. Yeah, oh, it is. Nice. Yeah, that's so perfect. I don't think anything's changed over there. No, it hasn't. That's but so... Manila was really bombed out at I'm that serious. time. It was it was truly bombed out. And, so I, and there were so many boats I'm in the serious. bay, in Manila Bay. Been. So yeah. many freighters in Man- Manila Bay. I know that was. But, uh, but now, oh, we, now we get to you. What your your awesome. comment about the um, about the, uh, the the boat back from Hawaii? Yeah. Anyway, nurse, w- nurse, when, <laughs> press <laughs> the call button. Nurse, and I right. have a rash. Nurse. It won't go away. Right. Yeah. We we had um, <laughs> we when when I was uh, I was sent back on a war, war weary navigate a war weary from the uh, Philippines to uh, the Hawaii. And then we left it, left the war where we at Hawaii, 
and then and we stayed for two days, and then and then got on this uh, uh, ship. Uh, was it was it was it was, a, it was a small ship. It was and but there were three. I remember there were three hundred nurses and one hundred. Uh, um, officers. I don't they were all what, officers. I don't care what kind of ship it was. Yeah. <laughs> 300 nurses. Yeah, yeah it yeah. might as well have been a it Disney was, cruise. It was, yeah. <laughs> but that was it. And I've, I've been kidded about cruise. that a lot. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I shouldn't have told it. I guess. <laughs> that's well, we great. love that story. Yeah. Okay, let's take a quick break. Mm-hmm. We're going to give Bill Colby a break. And then we're going to come back and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about General Motors and then we're going to talk, put you on the hot seat. Woo! Okay. We'll be right back. All right. Yeah. I'm Bruce Tuff, principal of the Tuff Law Firm. We are a full service law firm serving the greater Woodlands area and the greater Houston area. Contact us at 281-681-0808. We're tough for you. Blood drive at your location, go to Give Blood. Celebrate the joy of the season at Moody Gardens. Enjoy holiday in the gardens with Festival of Lights and more. Save at MoodyGardens.org. Hey, Bruce Buffer, thank you for introduction for the hot seat. This is a new part of our show. Bruce Buffer is graciously, he's been watching our show, and he says, well, I need to introduce you for the hot seat. So uh, thank you, Bruce Buffer. Veteran voice of the league. All right, so Bill Colby, uh, believe it or not, you know what he did? He brought his aviators. He brought his 70-year-old-plus aviators. If anyone's not scared of the hot seat. GI issued. Is that what he called it? It's Bill GI. GI. That's government issue. Government. Oh, GI. High five. High five. Very nice. Wah, wah, wee, wah. Wah, wah, wee, wah. Right. Bill, have you seen the hot seat before? No, I have not. Okay, you're about to serve as the witness in a rapid-fire cross-examination where you'll answer tough questions from the three of us as fast as you can. Oh so my. I'm going to swear you in now. Oh, my goodness. Raise your right hand. I do. State your full name for the record. Did William Harold Colby. Excellent. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and your version of the truth to answer the most questions with the fewest words as fast as you can? If you say so, yes. Be All ready. right, he's ready. Let's put on the timer. Oh, there. Here he goes. So we're on the timer. <laughs> oh, How my. do you spell Kobe? K O L B E. Are you related to eh. Kobe Bryant? No. Was your bomber named the Black Mamba? No. How about Jelly Bean? No. Did you change your bomber number from 8 to 24 to honor your father? No. Is it true you went to Michigan? Yes. All right. Are you a Wolverine? Yes. Have you ever met Hugh Jackman? No. What's your rally cry? Rally cry, yeah. Go, Go Big Blue? Blue. Go yeah. Blue, yay, yay. How, many, how many kids have you fathered? Two. Who's your favorite? Neither one. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> neither. Well, these are, neither. These are cold oh. for Christmas. Cold in your stocking. Naughty list. Because I love my kids. <laughs> I know. How many Please. wives do you have? Just one. Just one. How old are you? 97. Do you eliminate all of your birthday candles in one breath, or is the fire department involved? <laughs> fire department involved. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever received a permanent? It's short for a perm. It means a perm. Permanent. Long yeah, for like a perm. perm. Permed your oh, hair. No. Like Boy Wonder. Long like for a perm. No. Girl. What kind of hair products do you use? Uh, oh, gosh. I can't think of it. Have you ever rocked a bristle brush? 
Mustache? No. A four-star stash? I never star? have had a mustache. A little lip salute? No. Okay. How never. tall are you? Six foot one. Did you used to be taller? Yes. You said that I you, was an inch taller. You said that you went to teacher's college. Is no, that, uh, no I, that was just for a short time, in, in, interim, teachers. waiting for... What happens there? Is that time. teachers teaching teachers how to teach other teachers? No, I think it's just uh, other people trying to be teachers. Okay, you know? next. Isn't it true that you wear glasses just for style? No. What's your eyesight? Uh, well, it, it, I, it's there for reading. Okay. I my I just twenty twenty five and twenty fifty. I've Ooh. got the macular degeneration. Yeah, in one that's eye. what mine is now. This one right here is shot. <laughs> show them your eyes, Bruce. No way, I can't show them. They are shot. It will scare. Honey badger punched him in the it nose. It will scare that's the crap out of you. See this. It's called Echo Hudson. Next yep. Halloween, will you go as Bernie Sanders? Will I go as Bernie Sanders? For, Absolutely for not. How about, How about Joe Biden? No. Milton Friedman? No. Oh, Milton Friedman. Uh, we like he, that guy. Yeah, he's all right. He likes numbers. Yeah. What about Bernie Madoff? Bernie Madoff. Warren, Warren Buffett. Bernie Madoff. Warren Wait Buffett. A no, not Bernie Madoff. Okay, he's no, the, yeah. He was that. Uh, yeah. See, I told Warren you, Bill. Buffett. He know, Warren yeah. Buffett. Would you, yes. All right. Yeah. How about Clint Eastwood? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. He'd be a good hey, Clint Eastwood. Hey, he'd be a good Clint Eastwood. Uh, do you have a will? Yes. Do you have a prenup? I uh, no. How much money did it take for you to retire? What was your number? Oh dear, call yeah. Schwab. Play. Okay. I, I, Objection. That, 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 that's hard to okay. say. I don't know. What's, Next. What's the most humble job that you've ever had? Uh, most humble job, probably uh, uh, cleaning latrines in the in the army. That's it. Woo. Yeah. Do you have social media? Uh, yes. How often I, do you check well, it? Well, I I. No, I don't really. I, I've got it, but I don't have it. I have Facebook, but I don't use it. So does that mean you just troll other people? Yeah, okay. I just, I just, uh, yeah, I, you, I get the information. When you ran the training course, did you wear short shorts? When I was in training Yeah, course. when you ran the training course, the obstacle course, did you oh, wear yeah. short shorts? Oh, you yeah. Did. Do you still lift, bro? Uh, do I Do what? you still lift weights, bro? He works out. Uh, right? yeah. A little. How, much, works, do, how not, much do you bench? Very, very low weight. How much on the five. thigh master? Uh, More than Suzanne <laughs> Summers? He, he does a lot. He, do, he works out every I, day. He yeah. told me his I believe stretching it. I ride a bike like a half hour. Kick all of our butts. Yeah, he does. I, Some, I, I ride a bike, a stationary bike, a half hour every day. Peloton. Because of my nice. knees. Yeah. Sum nice. up your life philosophy in a word or phrase. Your whole life philosophy in one word or phrase, if you have one. Oh, my wife, I guess. Well, good. That's good. a good one. Nice. I love it. Yeah. What's one thing people That's... don't know about you that you want them to know? Uh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> one interesting fact. I, one interesting I, I, fact. I, I, I can't think of a... Uh, hmm. We'll okay, come back. We'll give you a pass. Objection, non responsive I can't, Okay. Uh, you take me off that one. Okay. Yeah. You uh, can so pass anything you want, Bill. Yeah, you Bill get gets unlimited passes. Yeah. 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 Special, special rules for Bill. Thank Isn't you. it? So it's true you're a World War II soldier. You flew bombing missions over Japan. How right. many successful? Yes. How now, many? Eight, how, eight successful. Eight, eight and how many successful. did you consider failures? Zero. Zero yeah. failure. What's the coolest thing you ever blew up? Uh, well, the, the three that I didn't go on, I guess those were failures. Yeah. Okay. What was your favorite target? Favorite thing you ever obliterated? I I, I don't uh, probably. I I didn't feel that way about it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, then I'll pass on my next one. Yeah. How many kills did you have? So that uh, no. You I probably know ever. Do you I, know how many kills you yeah. have? Oh yeah, because they they'd always tell us afterwards uh, what how, what percentage of the. Of the city we would, would have destroyed. Nice. For example, they, they tell us the 75, 85 percent. Okay. Wow. Well, it was high. Oh, it was high beast. because of the of the, uh, of the uh, fire bombs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, they they estimate like a hundred thousand were killed in that. In those probably. Bombs, right. Oh, yeah. probably. Have you ever met General Patton? Uh, no, I have not. How Did about General MacArthur's? No. No. General Motors. Yes. <laughs> no. How, no. How about Admiral uh, Nimitz? Uh, Jimmy Jimmy Doolittle. I met him. Would oh you be interested in that? He, he lived next door to us when I was a, a teenager. He uh, he lived next door, and he um, had two boys, uh, and the younger one was the one I palled around with. Bob was his name, and uh, uh, when he he would he worked for Shell at the time, and he. Uh, 
but he'd come home from and from wherever he was was and he'd he'd dive over the house. Uh-oh. You'd hear this Meow, over our house, and then in a few minutes out would come Mrs. Doolittle, and she the garage was in the back of the house, and oh she'd come and get in the car and go, and she always. She always dressed the same. She always dressed in gray suit. She was a, ni- a nice looking woman hmm. and had gray Sounds hair like the across, across the Jimmy, is it, Jimmy Doolittle flew to Japan right. knowing he could not return and had to fl- ditch in the. This is after yes. Japan uh, bombed uh, Pearl Harbor. Yes. He, they got on an aircraft there. They course. flew. Uh-huh. They flew and bombed Japan and says, "Look what we're going to do to you." And then they knew they couldn't get back and had to ditch in Bruce, the. Bruce, where's the question? Got him, coach. Mm-hmm. Okay, isn't okay. it true you work for General Motors? I did. Next, how many patents have you worked on? Thirteen. What, I had. I have thirteen. Patents. What's the coolest patent you've had, ever done? Your coolest one? Oh, I, the one that made most money for uh, General Motors right. was the automatic temperature control air conditioning system. Thank you for that. Wow. Oh, that, my it, God. That's the one where you just we set the temperature yeah. and, and the, High five for that gets, one. Yeah. the car goes High to that. Five. Yeah. High, High five. High five. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. What's the best kept secret at General Motors? Right. What's the best kept Ooh. secret? I watched a movie with Bill on John DeLorean, and he knew every one of the executives, including John DeLorean. Yeah. By yeah. the way, that's that's, that's how DeLorean cool guy. this guy is. Yeah, the, the guy that did DeLorean. He knew, well, okay. I, he knew John. Oh, yeah, DeLorean. I know John DeLorean. Yeah, yeah. I, knew, I, I worked with the executives as General Motors, the uh, uh, vice chairman, and and the and the various the managers of the divisions. When you were there, did you ever make a coworker cry? Work. Yeah, no, I make, don't. You, I don't think didn't so. Come down. I never. Way. I never did. Okay. No. What's your I, top, What's your top unchecked bucket list item, Bill? Do you have an unchecked bu- bucket list? One thing list on your item? bucket list. I don't think I have any, Bruce. I. Uh, I I'm. I. I've had a good life. Had yeah, a boy, I've ninety-seven. Had, I've checked them all. Yeah. I want to be there one day. I know. Day. I want to be there with one day. food for I, life. I, I, I found the wife, the woman that of the love of my life, and I have great kids and. And I had the, I, I lived through the war, and I had the, I love my job at General Motors, so I really don't have any life. Well, any, this and, is why they call them the golden generation, greatest, That's awesome. greatest generation, That's right. Right. and and. Um, you graduate from the University of Michigan, right. Big M, and they're what they rank number two now. They are so Harbach and, is and back. He was their quarterback, and man, yeah. and they you're play rocking. Georgia. They yeah. play Georgia New Year's Day. Yes, New Year's Eve. Who you with me? Who are you going to root for, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> I I hope they beat Georgia and also Alabama. Yes, sir. So, okay, one food, food for life. South. What would you eat? One food for life. What would you eat? What one food for life? What would you eat? Favorite food? Oh, I yeah. like smoked salmon. Smoked I, salmon. I, I, okay. like, I like smoked salmon. salmon. What's the fastest you've ever gone in a car? Oh, my. Probably 150. Uh, oh, How about oh, in a plane? Oh, well, he how, was test driving those. Yeah. Yeah. How about in a plane? What's the fastest you've ever gone? Oh, well, that that was that was uh, the uh, B-29 cruised at 250. And probably three hundred. Well, was texting well, in, in fl- an airplane? I I guess the jets now. You know, they they go six fifty. So oh my goodness! I guess uh, I guess that would be it. Was it's texting small. and flying a big problem back then? Texting and flying? texting and flying, or they told <laughs> texting you, and navigate, they navigating told you, and flying. Yeah. It, can, it can wait. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite World War Two movie or show? Your favorite World War Two movie or oh. show? Oh, I don't remember the name of it. It was a. Uh, that, uh, Band of Brothers, Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, mm. yeah. good it ones. Was, it was, it was an old one. And, and I don't remember. The I took name Olson of it. to Saving Private Ryan. He had to oh. get up during the Omaha landing. He he really got to him. Yeah, he yeah. got to yeah. him. Yeah, yeah I saw that it Saving was, Private yeah, Ryan, but that, that was wasn't rough. it. That wasn't my okay. my favorite. Uh, what's I, your favorite place you've ever been? Uh, Vienna. Who's your favorite person you've ever worked with at GM or in the military? Uh, well, he's since passed on. Bill Steinig is his name. Okay. Who, how about least favorite? Hmm? How about least favorite? Most hated arch enemy. Oh, I can't think of his name now. He was my vice <laughs> president. <laughs> I love it. He thought of him quick, though. Didn't okay. He? All right, Bill. Churchill or Truman? Who do you pick? Oh. Churchill or Truman? Oh, boy, that's tough. Yeah. That is tough. Uh, I, I guess... Uh, 
I guess I, I don't know. That's tough. They're because both they made, they're this, both they made great decisions. I know both I had to get. Yeah, I, I was trying guys. to stump the bill. This okay, yeah. who's smarter? Bill. Who's yeah. smarter? You yeah. or your wife? Yeah. My, you or your who's smarter? You or your wife? Oh, I don't know. I Ty. can't answer that. I, 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 I uh, who's smarter? I don't know. We'll right. we'll say her. We'll round yeah. round yeah. round up to her. You, yeah. That's okay. all right. She did everything. I I worked and. Uh, she I brought in the house. paycheck, and she did everything else. She, she made all our social arrangements. She raised the kids. She nice. raised the dog. She, nice. did, she did everything. Like She's smarter. Nice. She's like smarter. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred, hundred yard dash. You versus Bruce. What weapon do you use to neutralize him so you can stroll to victory? <laughs> <laughs> Stun gun. Makes me use a walker. Ba baseball to the head. The taser? Whatever. Taser. taser. I like yeah. it. Don't tase me, bro. Yeah. Don't tase What's me. a better pet, a German Shepherd or American Eagle? Better pet, better, better pet is German Shepherd. <laughs> Attaboy. Yes. Would you rather eat Wiener, Wiener Schnitzel in Berlin with a reluctant member of the Third Reich? Or medium rare dog in Tokyo with a kamikaze pilot who never made it off the bench. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to eat a dog. I wouldn't want to eat a dog. Wiener schnitzel it is. Wiener schnitzel it is. Rusty Hardin or Tony right. Busby? Rusty. Rusty, Rusty Hardin, Hardin, the attorney, or Tony Busby, the attorney? The I, other attorney. I don't know either one of them. I Do you know who that. Deshaun Watson is, the quarterback for the Texans? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Why? Well, did, yeah, he's. He's sitting in the in the. He's uh, sitting out for ten mil this year. Why, why does that guy need so many massages? Uh, I. I <laughs> 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 he must hurt a lot. He, he must. must. <laughs> okay, Bill. Um, Bill, did you love the hot seat? I'm fine. Yeah. Good job, Bill. Good job. great. Good. Good job. So Very Bill good. was a little apprehensive. He wanted to know what the hell the hot seat was. <laughs> yeah. he, he goes, what are you guys going to do? I said, you'll love the hot seat. Yeah. Just kind of roll with us. He is so good about Attaboy. He, he, he is so good about everything. Man. All right, Bill, we, we went through World War II and the highlights of World War II, mm -hmm. the bombing missions, mm -hmm. and then the troop ship back on the nurses, mm -hmm. the, the 300 Three to one. nurses. Yeah, Three, Three to one, one. baby. Right. Nurse. Yeah. Did, did did you, you meet a girlfriend? So. Did you have a girlfriend on that ship? No, because <laughs> because I met my I met my future wife in Tucson when I got my crew, and oh. we became engaged. Oh, and uh, and I I wouldn't marry before going overseas. In fact, I lost my high school girlfriend because she wanted to get married before I went overseas, and I refused, and she married somebody else. Whoa! And so, but my future wife, I wouldn't marry, and and. And after I came back and went back to the University of Michigan, then at that next Christmas uh, uh, vacation, that's when we got married. Oh, uh, wow. Was, what a story. Was in 46. And your wife's name? Joy. Joy. J-O-Y. And, and your two kids? And my Tricia is yeah. my daughter. Right. She's the oldest. And my son is James. You have a nickname for Patricia. What do you call her? Pud. Pud. Yeah, Pud. that's cool. My mother called her Puddin. Okay. Her Puddin Pan, and so that stuck with me. Yeah. When you got yeah. married at Christmas time. When's your anniversary? Yeah. It, it, uh, it was December 21st, the, the shortest day of the year. Okay. And uh, that's my anniversary. Winter solstice. How many, how many years? Well, they, uh, well, when so she, she passed away in, in uh, 2012, okay. and we had 65 years together. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations. That is, uh, now that there's is something incredible. To to. That is one, incredible. Absolutely. I am so sorry, and that's a regret, that I could not meet Joy. Mm -hmm. That was I wish I had the opportunity to meet yes. her, but I've seen many pictures of her and had dinner mm -hmm. in your house, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was just finely decorated mm -hmm. and you know, beautiful woman. Yes, so, yeah, she yeah, was. She, yeah. Was. You're, she was. Yeah, you're a blessed man. I, 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 am. Yes, I am. I am. Thank you yeah. for your service. Yes, yeah. yeah. thank we, you. Thank yeah, you. It's thank incredible. You About General Motors, you mm -hmm. now you're an engineer. Mm -hmm. You're an engineer by trade. Yes. You graduated the University of Houston. I mean, University yeah. of Michigan Wolverines. Yeah. I'm, I'm that's Cougs. Yeah. Go that's Cougs. That's yeah. me. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. Big M. Big M. Right. And what's it like going to a football game there in the big house? Is it just like it's wonderful? We we. Of course, when I was going there, we went every every to every game, and it's it's a uh, it's a uh, Fritz Chrysler built it. It was a it's a it's a bowl really, and uh, 
it's the largest stadium in the college, largest college stadium. I think it holds 111 or 113,000. Oh, wow. It's bigger and, than NFL and, stadiums. And it's, yeah. it's, a, uh, it's, it's a great stadium. Amazing. Great Big stadium. M. Did it ever get cold in any of those games? Do you remember going <laughs> oh, to Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, sure. Gold. And then you get, you get into the latter, latter uh, months of the year. Right. It always gets cold in Michigan. Michigan is a, it's, Michigan is a lovely, lovely state. Uh, it's cold in the winter, but in the summer, it's, it's, glorious. it's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. We were planning a big trip with Colson and Bill and yeah. myself and Diana Honey Badger, and we were mm-hmm. all going to take a Great Lakes tour. Mm-hmm. We got intercepted by COVID for them. Mm-hmm. That damn COVID mm-hmm. again right. took us out, plate. but we didn't get to do the Great Lakes, but that's mm-hmm. a big regret, right. too. But we did do the Mississippi crew. Yes. Cruise with Colson and Bill. And that was wonderful. And that was so much fun, it Bill. Was, that it was, was a. It was. You're a good traveler. Yes. You are yeah. a good. Tra- you're you're, you're <laughs> well, fun I, to be I, with. I, I thank you very much, Bruce. Yeah. You know, I enjoyed I enjoy Colson. He's yeah, great. He is good. Yeah. Well, Bill. I, one, one, yeah, go ahead. Well, I was just going to add uh, in something you might be interested in because you uh, everybody likes sports cars and everybody likes the Corvette. I think. Oh yeah. And, oh yeah. And, I love Corvette. And. Uh, just a, a point of interest. The way that started was uh, our uh, our uh, 20th Air Force General Lemay was his name. He went to General Motors and he asked General Motors, as the chairman, if they would do, provide a sports car for his officers. And so he, uh, uh, the of course, uh, styling was just enamored by the, with it. And they had they had various uh, uh, renderings, and, and in fact, Oldsmobile at the time was the um, the futuristic division of the General Motors, and they had a, a car that looked just to, like is like like the first Corvette, but but so they instead of giving it to Oldsmobile, they gave it to Chevrolet, mm. and Chevrolet just had the Line Six. An engine and a, and the old suspension and so on. So they and they they built this fiberglass body, uh, which was like the Oldsmobile body, and put it on that car. And, and of course, it wasn't a sports car. It was it looked like one, but it didn't handle like one. It didn't go. It didn't throw you back in the seat or anything like that. And so Ed Cole was our president at the time, and he said that he wanted to make that a sports car. So he got. A guy who maybe you've heard of is Zora Arkus Duntoff, and he was a Russian engineer. And Zora became the the uh, chief engineer of the of the uh, Corvette, and he made it a car. And Ed, at the same time, designed the beat the small block V8 engine. So we had the small block V8 engine, and 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 Zora designed the suspension. And Zora, in fact, the the new Corvette with the mid-engine they're calling the Zora, and and uh, which is uh, uh, after after Duntoff. Well, anyway, one of the, the my uh, in, in, my part in this was the development of the fuel injection system mm. in oh, 1957. No. 50, it came out in 55, 57. It was a mechanical fuel injection system, and that was my project. And so I work with Zora all the time on des- on designing that. And of course, what it does is is uh, fuel injection. You put the the nozzles right at the inlet in, inlet ports, and uh, where the inlet valve is, and you open up the intake manifold. So you reduce all the restrictions, and you get a lot more power out of the size engine. And so that was. That's amazing. Oh, oh my God! I appreciate that. I drove yeah, I uh, drove a oh. 2003 Z06 for 15 years. The oh, 50th really? yeah. anniversary oh, edition. Yeah. Recently well, sold it to my father-in-law, Joe well, Diaz. You can so thank carrying thank, it on. Uh, thank Bill thank you for that. For the I had a lot injection. of fun in that car. Yeah, thank yes. you for fuel injection. That's an amazing thank you machine. for air conditioning. Thank <laughs> yeah. you for air conditioning. And for air conditioning. Thank you. Well, for catalytic converter too. I did that. Oh, wow. oh, oh that's that was the first one. Catalytic converter. And and thank you for saving the world from communism. You know? Yes, <laughs> and fascism. All in a life's thank work. Thank you. Oh, wow, oh, amazing. Just wonderful. Well, Bill, thank you so much. It's been a great honor to have you on the show. Thank Thanks. you thank for you, coming Bruce. on the show. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in to Legal Fix. This is brought to you by the Tough Law Firm. 
Uh, please call us if you have any legal questions, 281-681-0808. We are working through the holidays, or visit our website, toughlawfirm.net, or ask a legal question to any of our uh, specialists right here. To get the latest legal fix, please subscribe to YouTube channel or connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and you can watch past episodes or highlights at toughlawfirm.net slash legal fix. Forward slash. Thank you, Bill Colby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is such an honor to have you on the show. Thank you, Bruce. I'm signing off. I'm the big deal Bruce Tuff for Boy Wonder, Brandon Riley, Super Lawyer G.I. Jerome, Mm. Jeremy Hall. We'll see you next Friday at noon for the New Year's Eve episode of The Legal Fix. Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho.